All right, in this video, we're testing my off-grid solar system. We got three grow watt inverters. We'll be testing those things out and showing you that you can run air conditioners. I have two ACs on my house. It's about 1,900 square feet. I can run my washer, my dryer, the stove, you know, pretty much everything. If you do run every single thing on your house, you can shut these three grow watt inverters down. Right now, it's only pulling about 600 watts. You know, just the basic stuff running nothing major running like the air conditioners the heat or anything like that or the dryer the washer the stove and a couple of the basics about my system first i have about 12 kilowatts of solar panels i got three of the 5000 watt uh, grow watt inverters i have the auto transformer i have about 20 kilowatt hours of batteries been working on my system for about a year just buying one thing at a time and still working on it but i just want to show you what this thing can do so let's go ahead and jump inside and turn all the lights on to get a complete baseline of where we're at all right right now in the house basically nothing's really on got a few little humidifiers fans and stuff like that on uh hepa filters you know just the basic stuff that you'd never turn off we're gonna go ahead and turn all the lights on bam another light on all right bathroom light and fan on bam hall light bam another light living room light all right let's go ahead and turn our lamps on all right we're gonna go ahead and walk back outside see what it's pulling and starting the big loads all right now inverter number one it's pulling 450 watts inverter number two it's pulling about 296 to 310 312 315 so let's just say 300 watts and number three is pulling 315, 320 watts. So basically with all the lights on everything, pulling about a thousand watts. So let's go ahead and kick on some big stuff. Just gonna kick back on my little AC to begin with. It's a little inverter AC. It doesn't pull much power, but we'll go ahead and turn it on anyway. It's about 500, 450 to 500 watts, 330 watts, 350 watts, and 330 watts. Let's go in the house and kick on something, something real. All right, gonna go ahead and kick on this one and a half ton unit. All right, go ahead and got it on cool. Got it on 70. As you can see, it's 72 in here right now. So bam, it's gonna go ahead and kick on. Bam, that one's running. Inverter number one's pulling about one kilowatt. Inverter two's pulling about 850. And inverter three's pulling about Go ahead and focus about 750 watts. We're good to go right now. Let's go turn on AC number two. All right, the main AC for the house. Let's go ahead and get this thing unlocked. All right, let's get it to air, to cool. And just click that down just so it kicks on to 70. That unit's kicked on now. All right, this was at about 40% power. And pulling about two kilowatts is jumping around a little bit about two kilowatts right now number two is going to be pulling 1.27 kilowatts and number three is pulling one kilowatt so hey no problem everything is running all right let's go ahead and kick on this dryer see what she does Let's put it on high for now. Dryer's running. All right, let's see what inverter number one's got. 3.4 kilowatts and 2.8 kilowatts on the second one. And 2.8 looks like, yep, about 2.8 on the third one. So good to go. Both air conditioners are dryer, all the lights, two freezers, fridge, my little AC here. Hey, let's go kick on something else. All right, let's go ahead and let's kick on this oven. And see what happens. All right, inverter number one's pulling 4.1, 4.4 kilowatts. So getting near maxed out. Got about four kilowatts on this one. And about about four kilowatts on this and 3.9, about the same thing. So four, four and four. So we're a little over 
12 kilowatts because this one's just a little over and both of them both of these are right around four hey so as you can see so far hey not having any problems the only time i really have a problem and kick out everything is when i'm charging my electric car and i have a bunch of stuff running but most of the time during the day hey i can run pretty much everything you know you have to be a little careful not to turn every burner on the stove on the oven the dryer both air conditioners you know and everything kicking on at the same time it may kick out the inverters but pretty much you're not going to have a problem i run this thing in the morning till in the evening you know and be good to go the only thing i'm still working on is i got to get more batteries so i can run throughout the entire night i can run part of my house uh, all the time so basically my little addition part i did it has a separate panel so i run that on on nights on the 20 kilowatt hours of batteries i have now if i upgrade and get some more batteries i'll be able to run the whole house but it's just a work in progress i started out basically with first inverter here and basically one battery so there's my auto transformer hey my wiring it's a little work in progress i'm gonna have to clean everything up you know i got my my solar coming in here got my power distribution bus bars basically that i have all that i have my battery hooked to you know i have the bus bar here you know i just went with the victron made it a little easier then i got my little sub panel that everything's going to so basically as you can see the first inverter still at about 80 percent you know I can show you how much solar I got coming in. I got a 12 kilowatt array right now on this one. I got 4,800 coming in. As you can see right here on the left, 4,800 watts. On this other one, I have 4,100. Not sure if there's any clouds out right now. Sometimes these are at this one right here can be at 6,000. This one right here, the first one be at 5,000 and something. So I've seen it pulling in 11,000 kilowatts about the max and uh but a lot of times it's going to be pulling in ten thousand easy during the middle of the day so if you have any questions about my setup it's still a work in progress but i just want to kind of show people what you can do yourself with a do-it-yourself system you can start out with one inverter and one battery and hook that up and get you a few panels i started out with 12 panels now i have 28 you know so it's just a work in progress you just buy it as you can i've been working on it for about a year just buying one thing at a time and still got to clean the wiring up that'll probably be the last thing i do when i think the system's completely done but for everybody that says you can't run air conditioners on these systems you have to get a mini split this is just not true this depends on what kind of system you have my air conditioners are the split systems but the air handlers are just you know in a crawl space some people have the air handlers in the attic i think they may use less amps for starting up than the conventional all-in-one system i'm not sure all i know is it runs my one and a half ton and my two and a half ton fine and i have the dryer and all the other stuff running it's running my little power shed here and everything is fine so hey if you like this kind of video hey go ahead and subscribe to the channel i'll be doing more stuff with the solar and the diy so if you're interested in that kind of stuff you know being more self-sufficient hey go ahead and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching